Hi people, I'm Mike P.H. Hi G Evolution for Sound Evolution. Today we're going to be looking at audio cleanup using Adobe Audition, just as we've already considered the same subject in Adobe Sound Both. Both programs use similar method, and so it's very important that we also treat it here in Adobe Audition. All right, so we are looking at um, the same speech or interview, brief extract of it, as we saw in Adobe Soundbirth. I'm going to play it. You see that it's a project that is entirely filled with background noise and, you know, infringing sounds from far and near. So I'm going to play and we see what we have here on the screen. Sound Evolution Studio is all around you, wherever you are. And everything we talk about is just all about what we talk about. And that uh, you can see it's entirely noise field, background noise field. As you can see, you have the same here, similar thing here, just at interval, much of the background noise. And it's just entirely in the project. And so we're going to have to pick a sample of it, all right, just as would consider, we've considered in Adobe Sandbirth. You're going to have to pick a sample of it. Cool. And you go to effect, noise reduction slash restoration, and now we make a noise print of the sample so that whatever we do, using it as a sample, it covers for the entire project or entire, you know, background noise occurring through the project. So capture noise print. Shift P gets you there. Okay. So like so. And now this box pops out. As you can see there, the current audio selection will be captured and loaded as a noise print for use, telling you that Adobe Audition is going to recognize the selected sample or, you know, frequency, so to say, as a standard for the noise eradication. So we click OK there. And secondly, we go again to Effects and we go to the same noise reduction slash restoration and we go to the second item there noise reduction process Control shift p gets you there or if you're in mac os command shift p so then we go noise reduction window pops up and you can see as it is on the screen um green and red but it's actually green yellow and red when i move the first slider you see the yellow Yes, the green actually was covering the yellow. The yellow box too starts the trend of boxes below it where you have your noise floor. All right. So the yellow stands for, you know, the highest volume of noise in each frequency. Don't forget that. The yellow dots show you the highest volume of noise in each frequency. Why the second dot does red shows the lowest volume of noise in each frequency. All right. So noise reduction slider you know, determines how much of the noise reduction effect you want to apply. And the second slider, reduce by slider, determines how many dB you want to reduce the noise. All right? How many dB you want to reduce the noise. That is, to what level, to what volume range you want to reduce the noise. Remember, your noise reduction slider, the upper one, deals with percentage. All right. So, as I move the, 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 the upper slider, the green dots or the green frequency, so to say, you know, moves kind of. All right. So remember to also select or click the select entire file button. Select entire file button. All right. So here we go. And I'll play. All right. I'll play. Sound evolution studio you can hear so much of the noise. You and everything we talk and about here we go. All about what we talk about. And that um, what we do is all um, teach. Good, 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 good. Now, I'm going to take it to the beginning. Remember, when this window is out, the noise reduction window, you can still do anything behind and it doesn't affect Jeez. the window. So I'm going to bring it to the beginning again. And now I'll toggle the power button here in the noise reduction window to see the the previous state and the present state of the sliders affecting the project. So now we go. Sound Evolution Studio is all around you, can see. you, wherever you are. And everything we talk about is just all about what we talk about. And that um, what we do is all... Um, Good. So I'm going to click apply and here we go. 
notice that this noise then reduces like so as you can see oh wonderful wonderful <laughs> no let's play and sound of illusion studio perfect perfect and now let's zoom in and locate the ringtone the phone call thing at the end of this very speech and so in doing that we are going to use our spectral frequency display to observing and to eradicating that so shift d gets you there all right and shift d takes it off i mean your spectral frequency display so that is on your keyboard so now we zoom in yes to gain full control yes notice your navigation you know bar at the top you can always use it to swing your project either ways and to do other cool things so now we are going to use our rectangular marquee tool to select where we have problem yeah with the ringtone stuff and usually you would like to use the amplitude slider reduce it or slide it to the left and you don't see the the frequencies of the ringtone but in this case it's preferable to use your delete button and you don't see that top because you don't need it you don't need it and in Adobe Audition, in as much as you've not deselected what you selected, that is that region, if you click play, it's just going to show you or play whatever thing you selected. But in this case, there's nothing there because we have eradicated the ringtone. Just for example, yeah. So it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. Yeah. So like so. And um, you can also toggle the loop play button on and off. And I think I've just switched it off. And, um, you know, so like no. so. Good. And now there are other frequencies of the ringtone which we have to eradicate. Good. Which we have to eradicate. So, people, you can see these tiny lines like in the shadow. So, let me deselect and control d or command d enables that cool so because everything we are in for and so i mean the brand you can hear those you know silent or quiet ringtone thing there in the background so we delete and we do it we do the same to others so yeah delete good and then you can still choose you know whichever and then you look very well delete all right so we deselect ctrl d or command d and see if we if we can still hear the same thing everything we are in for and so i mean the brand is just there and um, our tutorials are up online you know perfect perfect as you can see there is nothing like it anymore like the ringtone in the entire project so we have just clean project all right all right and also the project is entirely clean as for talking about the view from the spectra frequency display so shift d gets us back to the main thing the main waveform of the project you can see everything is just slimmed down you know the background noise so that is how you eradicate background noise and any interference at all so to say using adobe audition bye for now